Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover a very important interview question that is, how do you do grouping by in Java 8? So we have seen grouping by in SQL. How do you do the same thing? How will you implement the same thing in Java using Java 8 in a single line of code? Please like, share and subscribe to support us and we are setting a like target of 500 likes. Now I'll give you a scenario how interviews will ask you this type of question. So they'll ask you that given an employee in the database, segregate each employees based on their age and give me a key value pair where we have a key as an age and value as list of all the employees that belong to that particular age. So let me give you an example. Suppose this is my employee table where we have code, code, decode. These are the my names. These are IDs and these are the ages. Segregate each and every employee according to their ages. So for the age of 30, how many employees are there in the age of 30? So I have 1, 2 and 3. So basically ID 1, 3 and 5 are age 30. The ID 2 is of 35. ID 4 is of age 28. So how do you do this kind of segregation? Like age of 30, 3 employees. Age of 35, 1. Age of 28, 1 employee. So this is nothing but grouping by. If you can see in SQL, I can write a query where I can group by the age and then I will get that particular result. How will you do that in Java? So this is my Java code. Here I used to find all the employees. How will you return a map with a key value pair? Now in the previous videos, we have seen all the operations like find, find all, stream, min, max, filtering, mapping and everything. The most neglected part is this terminal operators that is collect and we don't even know the strength of it. So you can just create a map and segregate all these values in a key value pair and arrange them in that particular ordering using the collectors. Now he'll ask me how. So I'll show you how we can do that and then we will go to the theory part. This find all is the REST API which fetches all the employees. So now if I try to hit it, it will give me a list of all the employees available in the database. So this was my database and let's see in the JSON grid how it looks. So this is how my database looks like. Something similar code decode updated one, two code decode code code decode code and their ages. So this is how my I, I got the response. Now what I want is given this list of employees, create a key value pair based on their ages. So what you're doing here is to collect. Now we are collecting it to list. So rather than collecting it to list, we have a method called as grouping by. Can you see this is a grouping by and it takes a function which is capable enough to group it employee such that employee dot get age and it gives me an error. Why? Because it has to be converted to a map. So let's convert it to a map of integer comma list of employee and I'll return this. Let's see if this works for us. So this works. This is a key value pair. Key is 35 value is list of employees. So 35 there is only one. How many of 30 age? 1, 2 and 3. So 1, 3 and 5 should be the IDs. So 1, 3 and 5 is of age 30. So this is a key value pair. If this doesn't seem good, let me make it readable for you. So there was only one of age 28, only one of age 30, only one of age 35. If you can see the records are not uh, sorted, the response is 35, 28 and 30 because, because you have taken it as a simple map and it will return you a hash map basically internally. So now let's go back to the theory part. You are given a scenario, create a map with a key value pair where key is the age, values the list of employees of a given age group. This concept is same as grouping by in SQL. I've already told you this looks very similar to how you do group by clause in SQL. But to convert it into Java is a tricky thing. And what you will think about doing is being a core Java person. What you will do is I'll get a list of employees. I'll iterate over each employee and I'll create a map where I'll put an age as a key and value as the whole employee object. But it will give you a whole one single iteration and multiple line of code. How will you do that with a Java 8 is what interview will ask you. So you will create a key value pair where your key will be the age and value will be the list of employees. So this was the key which is the age and value is the list of employees. How will you do that in Java 8? So we'll be doing it using the grouping collector. 
so we have seen multiple things with the grouping so we we always used to do is collectors dot s list or s set and we can collect it in a list rather than doing that we can use a grouping by this is nothing but a grouping collector and how does that works it actually takes a classifier function so it takes nothing but a function how does grouping collector works it actually uses a classification function so function is nothing but a t comma k where t is the input that is the type of object in a stream and k is the basically return type and the return type here in the classifier function is nothing but a keys for us so key is going to be our age and t is going to be the list of all the objects falling under that particular age so k is nothing but keys and your map will be of type key which is nothing but an integer which is age and collection of t which is nothing but a list of employees who belongs to that particular age so that is how group collector work now showing it diagrammatically it takes a stream so let's go here it takes a stream what it do is it classifies so this is my classifier employee dot get age with the age it becomes key as the this particular age becomes the key and all the objects in that stream whose age is given by this particular get age function it divides it into those based on those keys so all the employees list of employees whose age is 28 is here whose age is 30 is here whose age is 35 is here so just with one single line you are capable enough to implement the group by clause of sql into java 8 using the collectors dot grouping by terminal operation so what we have seen till now is a grouping by collector with a single parameter now what it does is it calls a get age method and the end result of applying this is we want a map with key as a age and value as a list of employees belonging to that age now here if you can see i have the same name code belonging to same age group so i can say that this particular is duplicate elements so i can say that 3 and 5 is a duplicate element so here i can see 3 as code and 5 also is a code of the same age so this is duplicate i don't want it in my list i want it as a set i don't want duplicate elements how will you implement that given an employee table you need to give a key value pair where the key should be age but the the value should be a unique employee set so first what you have to do is implement hash code and equals method on the name so i'll remove age and id i'll uh, use the name only as the equals so it says if names are equal then i can say my employee is equal so implementing this i can say that now my this particular object that is 3 comma code comma 30 is same as 5 code comma 30 i am not considering id and age as the equal parameter i am just considering name so if the name are same i can consider the employee is same this is just a hypothetical scenario i want that you should not just group by age but also collect it so collectors dot 2 now you have multiple options here so i want to collect it to a set So now it gives me an error why because I'm collecting it to list initially I want a set because I want unique employees I consider an employee to be unique if the name is common this is not a this is just a hypothetical scenario so now with this set I'm going to collect all my employees to a set now what I should get is the 3 and 5 should be removed and there should be only one either 3 or 5 now let's run it Let's see with thirty, we just have only three and not five at all. I'll make it readable for you by using JSON grid. So initially on thirty, we had code of age thirty and code of age thirty. This is duplicate as per the requirement because the name is same. I consider employee is same. I don't want it. So I will use set and set will remove three and five for the age thirty and will give only three. So let's see if we are able to achieve this interview questions requirement. Yes, for the age of thirty, now it's just code with age thirty. The code with age thirty with ID five is now removed because you have used set. Remember, if you want to use a set on a custom object, you have to override equals and hash code and tell it which particular field you want to be unique. So in this case, I want my name to be unique. That is why I have implemented equals and hash code on. just the name you can see that we have used a second variant of grouping by so if you can see if i go into the grouping by it says the first grouping by used to take a simple argument 
but it used to hard code to list what is the to list it is nothing but a collector so initially when we were doing just grouping by with age internally it used to hard code comma collectors dot to list it was hard coded now since we don't want to list we want a set we are removing this hard coding and we are calling another method with to set so this method this overloaded grouping by is called with a classifier and a downstream downstream is nothing but collectors in which you want to collect your employees of that particular age this is the second variant so basically where the first variant always return the list containing the elements of group the second variant provides a flexibility to specify how the group elements needs to be collected using the second parameter which is nothing but a collector so initially what we used to do is just give one single parameter now we give two parameters and this two param initially the grouping by internally calls this parameter only but a hard coded of list two list this is the hard coding so now interviewer may try to confuse you by saying that see your response is not sorted your response has key is 35 then 28 and then 30 this is not even descending order not even ascending order ha if what if i want this particular output of key value pair to be sorted how will you do that so what you will think about is now putting a sorting on this particular stream and doing multiple things but no if you know this grouping by is also having the third overloaded method first overloaded method was just taking a classifier function which says just group it in a key value pair and return a list second method was taking a second argument which says okay group by age but store each and every employee in a set format and not in a list format so how will you do that using the two argument grouping by now you have three arguments grouping by which takes a second argument as how you want your map to be so i want my map to be a in a sorted ascending order so i'll do tree map so i'm calling a constructor of a tree map so, uh, as a second parameter which says okay now this map is going to be a tree map and hence it will be sorted so this is three parameter grouping by so if employer just uh, so if interviewer just ask you go and fetch a key value pair based on the age use a single parameter if interviewer ask you go fetch all the employees on the basis of their age and a key value pair but the list of employees should be unique that means internally you need set or any type of collection then use two parameter first parameter this second parameter this but now if interview ask you i don't want the map to be hash map which is by default the hash map i want it to be the sorted one so you can use tree map as the three arguments to the group by now if i try to run it i get the result in sorted order 28 30 and 35 i'll showcase this to you in json grid and this is the sorted order 28 30 and 35 28 30 and 35 so this is the beauty of overloaded methods of grouping by with one parameter two parameter and three parameter but internally one parameter internally calls two parameter two parameter internally calls three parameter i'll show you how internally what the one parameter do was call the grouping by classifier with two list so this is hard coding of two list internally one single parameter overloaded method call two parameters loaded i'll show it in a code for you so internally single parameter grouping by calls grouping by with two parameters but two list is hard coded so by default your employee list will be a list if you want to modify you can pass set but then you will be calling a two parameters so this is the two parameter group by it takes a classifier and a collection which internal calls three parameters grouping by and the three parameters is nothing but a function first parameter the second in which particular collection you want to collect your employee uh, list so if i say set the downstream is set and there you are going to store your employees as a unique result uh, the third parameter is hard coded so by default your map will be a hash map implementation now if interview ask you no i don't want hash map i want tree map you can modify and call the grouping by with tree map as a new and then you will be calling this 
grouping by overloaded method first is the classifier second is the tree map and third is the collection so i want the downstream is nothing but a collection that is set so that's how you can implement grouping by a sql group by in java 8 using three different overloaded methods first parameter second and third the all the rest two is optional if you don't pass it by default it will uh, convert it to the hash map and by default it will collect all your objects to a list if you want to modify it you can modify it like this so that's all about grouping by if you want to know more about the terminal operations and the collectors just let me know in the comment section i'll put more such interview questions for you thank you